Hello everyone and welcome back to today's weather video. We are talking about Tropical Storm Fred. It is the sixth name storm of the Atlantic hurricane season and it is just reorganized into a tropical storm earlier on this morning. It was still disorganized basically in the Gulf of Mexico. Now it is making its way northward in the Gulf of Mexico and is going to be making landfall sometime late tomorrow night or early Tuesday morning along the Florida Panhandle or the Alabama coastline. They're already with um, <clears throat> tropical storm warnings up for the coastlines, basically anywhere um, from Mobile, Alabama, all the way into basically like Appalachia, um, Florida, which is basically right along the um, see and everything. So, and then there are some uh, storm warnings that are a little bit more inland, just into the parts of southern Alabama. Now, Tropical Storm Fred is 40 miles per hour sustained wind gusts as of the last time I checked. Um, it is supposed to strengthen slightly over the next 24 to 36 hours. However, it's not going to just intensify into like a monster of a storm. It's going to be a relatively calm, not calm, but relatively um, low grade tropical storm, maybe up to 50 miles per hour winds expected um, at land time, uh, landfall and everything, but pretty much not a whole lot other than that. It's also not a very big storm as well, only a few hundred miles um, around the actual center of circulation. So there's not a whole lot of land area that it's going to be covering. However, we are going to see some rough seas, obviously, in the northern part of the Gulf. And then once it makes landfall, it'll be moving its way, you know, up into parts of Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, and maybe some parts of the southeastern um, Carolinas, maybe going up to parts of Kentucky and Virginia later on this week and everything. So the forecast does show for a lot of showers and thunderstorms, a lot of tropical moisture is going to be pulled northward into the southeast and parts of the mid-Atlantic. So if you do live in these areas over the next several days, pretty much the rest of the week, your forecast is gonna basically be like pop-up showers and storms, very, very muggy. We're gonna have dew points into the 70s and it is gonna still be, you know, into the middle 80s, low to mid 80s. So it's gonna feel very uncomfortable out there. Um, I do not expect a whole lot of wind with this storm. Once it makes landfall, I think that's gonna diminish the main threat from Fred is going to be the flooding. Uh, widespread two to four inches. Um, some localized places could get up to five to maybe six, seven, eight inches, especially if um, some of these storms train, basically go over the same area um, over and over again as the moisture gets pulled northward and everything. So um, again, from Mobile, Pensacola, um, Tallahassee, you could get into some of the wet weather. Um, I don't think um, New Orleans, you may get a shower or two, but I think you're too far west. Um, Birmingham will obviously be pretty much in the bullseye. Atlanta will get some rain from this and then going up into Chattanooga, places into um, the, um, the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee and the Carolinas. So watch out for flooding if you live in these areas. Behind Fred, by the way, we have Tropical Storm Grace, who will be making its way um, into the Gulf of Mexico at the end of this week. So I have a video on that coming up in a few days um, as we get more information on Grace. So again, watch out for Tropical Storm Fred as it approaches the coastline of the, um, um, Pen uh, I, I keep wanting to say Pennsylvania for some odd reason, I don't know, of uh, Florida and Alabama over the next 24 to 36 hours. Stay safe out there and I'll be back again with another video very soon.